Well, good evening, everyone. Um, first of all, uh, I'd like to say uh, thank you to Bitewire for putting this event on and you know, for the time fundraising tonight. Um, also, thank you to Tracy, who is like the liaison go between between Matt and Stacey and I. And uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm uh, I'm not actually from Sydney. I'm from Melbourne, but um, I moved here about seven months ago, and I've been really enjoying my time in the city here. Uh, uh, I, I do miss the uh, lack of a good coffee shop in my area. So if you, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, um, so this is really my first involvement in the arts here in Sydney too, and uh, I'm looking forward to you know, ongoing involvement in the future. Um, tonight's theme is make a start, and so I thought it would be appropriate to show drawings that are really um, part of the beginning of my process when I create artwork. Um, these drawings serve as kind of documents of a parallel or a hybrid kind of world. Um, I'm interested in uh, sort of exploring the unexpected possibilities that you can uh, come up with when you combine other different cultures or uh, different um, or create different variations of uh, the society that we live. Um, so I'm um, I I studied in Melbourne for four years as a graphic designer, and then a year on top of that as an artist um, at Monash University. And then upon finishing that, I, I actually moved to Japan for a year. And when I came back to Australia, I think. Um, the first few weeks were a little bit disorienting because where I was living in Japan was quite rural. It was actually in the northern part of Japan, uh, um, uh, sort of almost the northern, most northern point of the main island. So when I came back, uh, the reverse culture shock was really interesting to me, and I um, wanted to sort of uh, convey. Um, this sense of what might, it might be like to have a mixture of Australian and Japanese culture together. What, what would that look like? And so we see in some of these drawings there's uh, you know, drunken louts in uh, kimonos and um, uh, the Australian bushland but with uh, Shinto paper designs wrapped around the trees. Um, in Australian suburbia but with elements of Japanese culture in, in the in their lifestyle, such as uh, having to leave your rubbish in plastic nets in front of your house. Um, and the last drawing is uh, a uh, sort of a ritual, I guess, that occurs every day at the, in Japanese primary schools, which is called radio gymnastics. And, uh, um, and it's sort of these funny, uh, I don't know, rhythmic uh, movement, dance moves almost that you do to a um, a piano every morning, so I sort of uh, put um, children who are in uh, my primary school uniform um, doing those movements. Um, yeah, so well, thank you again, and I hope you enjoy looking at these works. And um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And uh, yeah, enjoy.